if you've never fiberglassed before, you're probably in danger of just rushing off to your local large hardware chain store and buying a fiberglass repair kit off the shelf. Let me advise you against that. Why? Because there's probably no gel coat in it. You won't know what weight of cloth that they're uh, providing you with, particularly if you're inexperienced. So there'll be a couple of things that won't be in that kit um, and a couple of tools that you'll want that won't be there. My advice instead is to Google fiberglass suppliers in your local area. Find a trade supply shop and go there. You can talk with them about it, you can be honest with them and say, I've never done fiberglassing before uh, and this is a list of materials that I've got. Can you tell me the amounts that I need and so forth? And they'll be helpful for you. Fiberglass cloth hates sharp 90 degree bends. It won't take them up very well. You'll get gaps between your cloth and your gel coat. The way to combat that is to use the lightest cloth uh, chop strand mat. That's why I'm using 225 gram CSM. It's a very light cloth and so it'll take those curves up really well. So rather than putting on say two layers of 450, I'm putting on four layers of uh, 225. That way I'll get those 90 degree curves. You need to use this light cloth both in making your dye and in making the copies from it.
your canard on the mould, you're essentially making it upside down and back to front. You get smooth surfaces uh, over most of it where the gel coat is laid against the mould itself. But on this outside uh, edge of the, uh, of the outer flange, you get the surface and the texture of the fibreglass itself. How do you make that smoother? Well, there's a number of ways. One way is to just sand that fibreglass when the job's uh, hardened and, and trimmed. Sand it and uh, put car filler on it and smooth it that way. But there's a couple of better ways of doing it. Another way is to put tissue paper on as your last layer when you're laying your can art up on the mould <coughs> and work that in and that will give you a smoother texture. There's also a thing you can use uh, in a similar way to the tissue paper called peel ply. Now peel ply is laid over the top as a last layer. Uh, it's a, a silky woven fabric coated with a release agent that leaves an even textured surface. And so you lay up all your fiberglass and resin and then your last layer on the surface that you want smooth, you just drape peel ply over it and smooth that in with a brush or a roller. You let everything set up and then that peel ply will, as the name says, it'll just peel off and that'll give you a, a very smooth surface. But because I've got lots of offcuts laying around of this stuff, I like to dress up my edges with a final layer of carbon fibre. I wait until all the fibreglass has set on the mould and then I come back with um, epoxy resin and just lay up carbon fibre on the outer edge and get a dress edge and then I overcoat that when it's dry with uh, a gloss coat of Waddle Estopol 7008 or in the case of American product uh, Famo Wood Glaze Coat and that gives you the uh, glossy finish that you, you want on a, on a carbon fibre job and, it's, and the pattern and the texture of carbon fibre.